Coaches, today, seven everyday drills for your quarterback. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the 92 Mesh Group channel. I'm Coach Colt Tharp out of North Carolina, and today we're going to talk about seven everyday drills for your quarterback to use in the air raid. I've always talked about, you know, kind of how I, I like to have conversations with Coach Mommy, and they, and they always tend to be, you know, when we're off to the side or, you know, having dinner or something of that nature when we, when we get together at clinics and things like that. And, and one of the things that I was able to ask him, Actually, during the Foothills Clinic, I, I kind of just raised my hand because it just kind of hit me. And I said, you know, hey, coach, what, what are your everyday drills for, uh, for quarterbacks? Um, you know, we all have kind of a toolbox of things that we do. But, you know, what are things that, you know, this guy who's developed, you know, some of the greatest quarterbacks, you know, in the air raid and taught people how to do that? What, what does he think is important? Because I think that's, that's, you know, was interesting to me. And so, you know, he started rambling off pretty quick, and I'm going to show you right now. Let me pull it up on the screen over here. Um, you know, kind of what Coach Mummy felt like were his best everyday drills. And, um, and so here we go. Let's, let's look at seven everyday drills for quarterbacks. And, and, and so the first one, let, let's talk about this. You know, one of the things that he talks about is, is repetition being the mother of learning and, and that's so important you know we, we talk about in the air raid everything is about that magic rep so as you're doing these drills and things like that you really want to be able to get it get it to the point where we're doing these things every day edd every day um not just fun day monday and and, and all that good stuff you know all those little catchy terms that we come up with uh, but you really want to get to these things every day um, you know, if not all seven, you know, three on Monday, three on Tuesday, three on Wednesday, you know, kind of those kind of things to get those things done. And, and you know, a lot of times you're like, well, coach, when am I going to fit these in? Well, you know, most of us are at schools where we have to split our squad. You know, we have an hour in offense, an hour of defense, 20 minutes of special teams, 10 minutes of stretching, and we're off the field. You know, very few of us can go to platoon and get a 24-period practice on tw tw uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Um, those of you guys who are fortunate enough to do it, you can you can fit these kind of things in in your individual time. But I do a lot of my quarterback stuff, you know, when the defense is working. Uh, you know, I've been fortunate enough. I've never been on a staff where I had to coach an offense and a defensive position. And, you know, I think that's, you know, that's a good thing. You know, I, I know it still happens at some of the smaller schools and things like that. But, but you know, I've never had to do that. So we always worked quarterbacks while the defense was practicing. Especially important to do these drills in the spring and in the summer especially because, you know, sometimes you'll get some game planning that, that has to, to get work done, um, you know, during this time, and, and, that, and that becomes an issue. So the first drill we're going to talk about is, is the step over drill. And, and it's not what you think. It's, it's not bags. And really, and, and if you want to see film on all these drills, go back to my, um, my uh, Lincoln Riley ECU quarterback wide receiver drills. All of these drills are on that, on, those, on that film. There's also the old school Mike Leach stuff on the channel as well that you can take a look at. Both of those videos have film on all of these drills, so you can go back and do that. That's why I didn't intercut them in here. You can go look at those, and they've been on the channel for a couple of weeks. Um, the step over drill basically is just a line, and, and, you're, and you're just going to fast feed over the line, back and forth, side to side, and, and you're really warming up feet. Um, you, you know, you're getting those things together, and you can throw a ball, add a ball into that drill if you'd like. Um, the next drill we like to look at is he talked about the circle drill. And, you know, basically both of your quarterbacks are going to, you know, be 10 miles apart. And, uh, you know, that, that's one of those things where you want to uh, – let me go back. I'm sorry, guys. Technology got to love it. Um, you know, you want to be just jogging in a circle and rotating our shoulders and, and, and throwing it back and forth to, to each other. And, and, and I think that's an important drill, and, and you know, it, it's one that really works the, um, the quarterback's arms. And then we want to do our throwing in progression. And, and you know, we want to throw, you know, five passes from just fast feet, five passes from uh, three-step drop, five passes from five-step, you know, a little bit of play action, a little bit of full rollout. Um, and, and, and you can do that both right and left, and, that, and that's, a good, that's a good little drill there. Um, barrel drill, you know, set you up a, one of those five-gallon barrels that everybody has on their campus in the end zone, and let's see who can drop it in. 
you know, play for cheeseburgers, do whatever, you know, it's fun to see kids compete, you know, I always have coaches that want to come over during that time and try to compete as well, you know, we're all competitive, you know, it's, it's a land of alphas, and, and so, you know, this is a great drill to be competitive and, and, and see it done, and, and believe it or not, I, I, can, I can remember the JV quarterback winning, you know, one time, and he just thought that, you know, <laughs> could nobody talk to him for like two days. Um, scramble drill, uh, obviously, is one that's not a bad drill. And, and what you want on that is, is you generally will set a, uh, a barrel or something up like right here so that as the quarterback drops, he can actually spin around that barrel and get wide and then throw it. Um, and, and if you don't have a rusher, you can just put a barrel there, um, which, which really is a, is a good way to work that around. And uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good drill there as well. Um, shuffle drill, everybody kind of shuffles. Uh, you know, we always want to put a throw behind that, but we're just going to work on keeping our feet as a, at a good base and, uh, and, and doing the things necessary to get that done, shuffle and deliver. And then get big. Coach Mummy really loves this drill. And, and really what it is, it's designed to uh, simulate your, your quarterback getting hit. And, and so you'll have a defender that's got a shield, and he's kind of kind of rushed the quarterback at half speed. And what the quarterback wants, what you want him to do is you want him to take his drop and then step up and then actually get tall in the pocket, knowing he's fixing to get hit, and, and, tr and try to deliver a good ball. And, and that's, a, that's a great drill um, to do that. And then lastly, um, you, you know, we, we work the fast screen drill. And, and if you're doing orbit, um, like we talked about in yesterday's video, or, or if you're looking at, if you looked at the, uh, the Mackey Clinic video, if you're doing the orbit drill, then you might can get away with not doing fast screen. But if you don't have time to do orbit that day, um, you can work on fast screen drill here. And basically it's just catch, boom, catch, boom. You know, you want to turn a double play as fast as you can. It also works on the quarterback being able to throw without the laces. Um, really important. Now, like I said, these are just seven everyday drills that, you know, that Coach Mummy said that he thought were the most important for quarterbacks to do. I know you guys in the comments down below, what do you use? Um, what are your seven EDDs that are important? Uh, put them down there in the comment area. Let's look at them. Let's share. Um, if you're not a member of the squadron meeting room, you need to jump in there. We're doing a, a, a special clinic Sunday night. Uh, there's only going to be 100 seats open, so you need to go to the squadron meeting room to get the, to get the link to get into the clinic. We'll do it at 8 o'clock. You know, we'll celebrate Father's Day by talking about some football in the evening time. So really looking forward to that. It'll be about 30, 35 minutes, so it'll be, it'll be, a, good, it'll be a good evening. Um, look forward to seeing you guys. Um, Appreciate the love you're showing the channel. It, it, it means a lot. We're over 500 subscribers. We're on our way to 1,000, and that's where we want to get. Um, got some good stuff coming up. Uh, website will be up here in the next couple of days. Um, and, and then we got some other great things that we're going to be talking about. Um, you know. And if you like the hats and things like that, let me know. I mean, I haven't really decided if we were going to do merch, but I, I kind of like the hat. So we had a couple of made for me and a couple of my buddies just to just to wear. And um, But if it's something you, you'd like to talk about or something, hit me up, DM me on Twitter, and we'll look at it. But hey, listen, I hope you get something out of this. It's been really fun you know, talking to you guys over the last few weeks, and, and we got more to come. I'm um, just going to do some different ideas. You know, we'll do some more chalk talks and things like that. But just as always, remember, spin it to win.